Big now, time. I want to go back a little bit. Um, during that time, when you dropped the, the For My Foes, the musical, the Autumn Jets, and your videos, bro, you was around a lot of white people in college shit. You was around <laughs> niggas that was like the his fit. <laughs> we like main man, like, a whole bunch of main mains around there. Hey. Now, I'm saying from that, that shit is different than when before. It was, I want to say that was before you linked up with Trip, right? It was around the same around time. Around the same time. It was, okay, but it was really about the same time. Your vibes yeah. and videos is way different than like than the way you rap. You feel me? Like yeah. you like. Hell, this nigga the first day. Hey, shout out to uh, the chick I was fucking with in college. This nigga had all LeBrons. I'm like, damn, that nigga had them hoes in the pile one time, one video. I'm like, oh, I want all them hoes. Shout out to her. She got me a lot of them bitches. So appreciate that was you, real. bro. Oh, hell <laughs> yeah. Hey, love. Hey, running game. Hey, hey, hey. Every time I seen this nigga, this nigga was getting new LeBron. Yeah. Hey, every Friday, shout out to go take me up there to the uh, fence. <laughs> but yeah, so where did your, your inspiration for the video come from? Because like you said, like I said, it, you the way you rap don't, Fit your videos, your videos be lit. Like it'd be some funny shit, some goofy shit. Like you said, you laid all on the flow. You know what I'm saying? Just different shit, man. Yeah, I mean, it, it was trying to infuse personality mm-hmm. into the into the music or the branding of it. Like, like at some point, like I said, I was I was working within a system. I was I was trying to build on or latch on to somebody else's brand. Mm-hmm. And it was it was street rap. And it was what it was. Like, Cash Money was well-established. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I and E, I guess before CMG, like, it, that was what it was. It was, you know, undeniable, like, mm-hmm. on the street end. And, I mean, I fit right in as far as from my roots. But in truth, like, I was almost, like, tucking in on some of the, like, intellectual side. Nah, I was, like, yeah, tucking yeah, in, yeah. like, the, the personable element. Like, I'm from East Nashville. I'm from the worst of it. But I went to a magnet school. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I was a national yeah. merit yeah. semi-finalist. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm, you know what I'm saying? A bright dude, undeniable. I've always been smart. I, mm-hmm. I put it in in a rap. You know what I'm saying? Right. Early on, my life story rap. Like, I, I skipped first grade. Like, you know, some people that know me, like, these ain't <laughs> these aren't things that I ever, like, hit, hit or whatever, but they don't come to the forefront in rap. Right. And, yeah, but yeah. one thing for sure, all my favorite rappers are Brainiacs. They're all smart Who your people. Favorite rappers? Uh, Lil Wayne, probably my favorite rapper of all time. Got it, of course. Jay Z yeah. clearly like presents himself as mm-hmm. an intellectual on so many levels. Like I like Nas. Like I like the people that don't hide. You know what I'm saying? The the yeah, the sure. intellect. Yeah, you yeah. know that, yeah. that mm-hmm. part of it. I mean, Ti used more big words than mm-hmm. any, than you know what I'm saying college yeah. college <laughs> professor. Like do, these yeah. are, and, and I mean you know people. Confuse like education with smarts. Oh yeah, for right. yeah. you know, I didn't I didn't graduate college. I I went to two different colleges and whatnot. But um, to your question, like it was like I want to peel back them layers mm-hmm. of like showing like who I am because that's what I feel like people was connecting to. They weren't connecting to a song or a single. They was connecting to it might have been some pain. It might have been some experience. It was. Yeah, it may have been so. some some commonality. Something that like, yeah. man, I I heard when you said this, and I knew exactly what you was talking about. It might have flew over everybody else's head in the room, mm-hmm. but I'm with you because I heard this. So it was like the one you say when I'm landing the flow is it's video game flow. I feel like generationally we all grew up playing video games, oh, yeah, so it's yeah. probably different oh, ones. Yeah. But but it was exactly. But I'm like yeah. I got Sega Genesis games and and oh, yeah. like Relic. Pieces at that time, and, and you know they also like the sports thing and, and whatever to kind of connect the dots. But a lot of them videos was just showing like a lifestyle thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was like for, the part is like that's what I'm saying. Random shit. This nigga was in the sink one time with a whole bunch of bars of soap. Yeah, <laughs> but he rapping his ass off, but fucking with the soap. Yeah, it's like nigga, what is you doing? <laughs> with this nigga rapping his ass off. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, all right, play with the soap, man. But, it, but it was in the rap, though. It like, was. Uh, and I, and I, if, he just uh, put the dog in the shit. I don't, the, 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 the punchlines was, was uh, tried to leave her 2,000 times. Like, I was, had to leave her 2,000. So, like, uh, shot it was greener than Irish Spring. Yeah. And got Irish Spring. Like, Irish Spring. Like, <laughs> oh, and I was, you know what I'm saying? I was yeah. bar yeah, for bar. Gotta like, and by, you got to watch and listen. By the yeah, end, I'm like, listen. uh, Cause I think it started. I was on like a Frank Ocean track, mm-hmm. and um, mm-hmm. on on his song, uh, I think it was called "We All Cry." 
Mm-hmm. He had a lyric that said, uh, "I don't believe my hands are, cl- are cleanly," or something. I don't, I don't believe my hands are clean. I can't believe you let me touch your heart. And I was like, "Damn, that was cold." You know what I'm saying? Just even on some R and B shit, I'm like, yeah, lyrically, that was cold. Yeah, that right so there, when I got the instrumental, I was stuck on that one line. I so I damn near wrote my whole rap. I wrote my right whole there. rap off the idea of my hands not being clean. Yet I touched your heart. So I rapped about soap. And at the end, I was like, you know, uh, I start out the rap like, uh, an 80s baby approaching 30. I'm so OCD, I might tell you the soap is dirty. <laughs> and so, like, I'm, I'm, washing, I'm washing off the bars of soap in the video. Yeah. And by the end, I'm like, all these bars was about soap. Like, I kind of bring it full circle. All these bars. Yeah, nigga bro. said bar. 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 But, but that was the, uh, <laughs> you know, that's where I was at. It's like, yeah. and it, I'm doing some other shit in this video that, you know, we fast forward through. Like, it was some. Oh, yeah, go back to where he's stacking all the LeBrons. That's in there. But <laughs> I, I, I mean, like, some 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 things not to be proud of. Like, I I was muscling up on somebody and and. Are you talking about I, you at the gas station? Nah, it was well, somewhere around. Was I, the point I'm making, I'm like, I wasn't living the most upright life at mm-hmm. that time. Mm-hmm. But I was growing out of that shit to where, like, that ain't that shouldn't be the centerpiece. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. It's like, I want this, I want my craftsmanship to shine through. I want my, like yeah. I said, my pen. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, for sure, this, this ain't a hit record kind of thing, but it's something that, like, my core fans like, man, this nigga cold. Or he can do something that yeah, yeah. the people you like to listen to can't do. Right. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It's like, in part, it's like an exercise or, you know what I'm saying? But but it's, you know, this is when I was probably most in love with the shit, like I said, or, or just really doing it and have my own purpose or, or approach for it. But I wanted to put that shit, like, in front of people, mm-hmm. you know, because for a while, I didn't, <clears throat> I didn't have the option of being creative. Mm-hmm. You know, I was told, rap about dope. Yeah. And I was like, man, everybody around me, like, <laughs> on dope and selling dope and shit. Like, that shit, when you amongst it like that full yeah, time, this yeah, shit yeah. boring. Right. Like, don't else, like, I want to do anything else. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, deep down. Mm-hmm. But it's right. like, damn, this the only way out. Like, I might as well be over there doing what they doing. Kind yeah. Of thing. Yeah. It's like, so that it was trying to have fun, make fun of the shit. And just also, like, man, I'm I'm different. And I'm I'm going to embrace it. Yeah. Their, their creative side show. I mean, especially so. I gotta ask you about these about the cover art. Now, Step Brothers, I get you know, yeah, the Cold Turkey album cover. <laughs> got when a I raw first, turkey on it. When nice. I first saw the album cover, I was like, Whoa. I think I know what it is. Do you think so? I thought. All right. Well, Jose, what was what? What is what? What are we looking at? What are we looking at? Because I just saw the Ice Cube's the theme in the in the Cold Turkey. <laughs> I was like, what's going on? This nigga sweet. <laughs> what's yeah. going on with it? Because then after that was fried turkey. Right? Yeah. Uh, yeah? I mean, it It, it wasn't rocket science. It was ice cubes. Okay, and, okay, and, okay. And okay. Tar- like, it wasn't nothing deeper than that. Okay, all right. Nah, okay. It, okay. Wasn't, it wasn't anything deeper than that. Like, yeah. Me being an artist, I think at the time, because my next album that I'm dropping, I actually have a picture of me on it. If you notice, like, I haven't had my my own, like, image on a lot of my album covers. I yeah. think Step Brothers 2 was one of the few mm-hmm. ones. It, it, it's it been, like, animated mm-hmm. pictures. Like, that, right. that one, I'm I'm not really, like, face forward looking at the camera. Mm-hmm. I never wanted to, um, I wanted my artistry. I wanted the art itself to be the centerpiece. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because we in an internet age. Like, I don't want you to look at, at that time when I made Call Turkey, I want you to look at this and try to figure out what it is. And so you go hit play on it. He been, he been trying to figure it out. You too. got me. That's the day. Click. Right, because at <laughs> yeah, that point, right like, yeah. even if you could figure out what the name of it is from this, it's like, what what is he going to be talking about on here? Produce? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> is he going to be rapping like Ice Cube or whatever? But, Ooh, that post-traumatic stress. But Ooh, for sure, yeah. like, uh, that was that was part of it. Like, I think, um, like, yeah, that was one of the last ones that, that I actually cold, had an image on there. And that was just, you know, just for trying to make a mixtape cover. And, and at a point, I'm like, man, it ain't about how I look, what I'm wearing, et cetera. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, yeah, it go yeah. deeper than that. So, yeah, yeah. so with some of the, some of my projects, artwork, I try to really, like, 
like put some symbolism and, and call it target was straightforward. Like I let's start here. And, and when you hit play from the intro, you can see what I'm on. Or, you know what I'm saying? What yeah. the temperature or the, or the music is, what the vibe is. And then, you know what I'm saying? It's a strong theme of like quit with quit bullshit and call it turkey. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? You in you into this and the night for you, leave it alone. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Man? Cause that that's that was a like a pivotal point for me on, on some life shit. So I try to put that into the, the music. But literally I'm like, all right, I'm calling my album this. What does this look like? And then that's also, like I said, tapping into the silliest part of, uh, of my <laughs> yeah. own like brain of like shit, let's let's uh put an ice cube in. Turkey. Uh, turkey. Like, and, that and they was like, and, and even the person, the graphics person was like, You, you serious? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was you like, mean? Yeah, make it light blue. And and put and he put my name on there. I was like, That's cool. I was like, We're turning around like you looking at it through the mirror. And he was just looking at me like, <laughs> Nigga, bro, 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 bro. And um, That's live, bro. when he That's finished it, he was like, That's it. And I was like, Yeah, how much? Like, let me. <laughs> and I mean, it's one of them things like, Man, it's probably the easiest artwork I ever did. But I'm like, it's perfect, it's perfect. You know what I'm saying? For what, you know, it's what I'm funny, trying to yeah. present or whatever. It's stuck, man, for sure. The other one, I was I took it a step further and was making it silly. It's like an 18-wheeler with, yeah. look like the, the, the Crisco, <laughs> uh, yeah. you know, a play on like Chris. Like, so it's like uh, you see some actual turkeys, like seeing a... Uh, Truck like Crisco pool, truck, man. like you seen the they grease faded. Coming. Yeah, that's <laughs> the grease coming. Your fate is sealed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, y'all about to get dipped with. in the grease because wow. I dropped that one on Thanksgiving or whatnot. And then some of it is almost like inside jokes for myself or got their own, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Symbolic value. But that was one that I really wasn't thinking that hard. I'm like, what what does cold turkey look like? And yeah. I was like, let's ice it's cube. Good. Like almost like a pictograph or whatever. But yeah, it's like uh, <laughs> peanut oil. It's over with. 